This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, Diddy had the audacity to change his name to Love a few years ago. He says, and he put out a video today stating how disgusted he is with himself about that video that got released with Cassie. No, he's disgusted that you guys know about it now. Nobody wanted to hear this video from Diddy. Nobody. Okay? I mean... Your kids stood by and defended you after your house got raided like you're some great guy. But you're not. There's also abuse allegations from Kim Porter and her friends. and they, they, Like, name all the women you abuse, bro. And you had the audacity to go on Ellen around this time and say, Oh, I, I would never hit a woman. You, know, you, get, you can't hit a woman. <laughs> Meanwhile, you were hitting a woman just around that time. Let's listen to this video from Diddy. I mean, it's it's disgusting, bro. Let's see where he is right here. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. But sometimes you got to do that. I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom, but I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it, I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy, and go into rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. so sorry but I'm committed to be a better man each and every day I'm not asking for forgiveness I'm truly sorry what a, like people are always sorry when they get caught he purchased the video from the hotel or whoever worked there and made sure nobody saw it. The only reason it's exposed now is because they raided his house and got the footage. He kept the footage. Like, that's sick, bro. He kept it. He kept a copy of it. And it, they released it because he couldn't be charged for this crime in 2016. If he was so sorry around that time, you would have faced the repercussions at that time. But you didn't. You covered it up. And you saw help in therapy. Bro, you drop kick Cassie in the face. So when you hit rock bottom, you 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 kill and punch people? Huh. Did you hit rock bottom in 96, 97? <laughs> That's what people are going to be questioning. Bishop T.D. Jakes, who's linked to Diddy heavily and accused of being in some of these circles. But, you know, that's for another time. And Cat Williams... If his prophecies come true, T.D. Jakes is next on the list for investigations. Requests that came in over uh, social media that I happened to just happened just to see as I was coming to church. And the woman said to me, would you please pray for women who are living in danger in their own house? Get this guy out of here, dude. <laughs> like, come on, man. Um, Danalea says she's done. Done. Okay. Oh, here's that interview. See, you this, clearly is, this is the interview. Old clip speaking of Chris Brown and Rihanna circulating. Have a lot of people going, why would you do that? Why would you give Chris, a guy who hit a girl and he's jet skiing around in your you know i i just i don't understand because i mean listen i yeah. i was a huge fan of chris's yeah. i love chris his music can't play the whole thing but they both got canceled for putting their hands on people you know that's the that's the ironic thing about that we'll get to some other videos let's see let's go through whatever we got left i put a couple things in here can't do everything in one video um Hold on, bear with me. All right, so <clears throat> we got Bishop TD Jakes. 
Fans also resurfaced Kanye clip following leaked Cassie video. Kanye told us Pete Diddy was a fed who made a deal to get away with crimes two years ago, but Drink Champs deleted the episode a few days later. Yeah, because they're under revolt with Diddy. I mean, you know, think think about it as a as a deep, deep, uh, deep dark, theory, you know, conspiracy or whatever. It's not. It's plain and simple, man. You know, it's pretty simple. Nori, Fat Joe, all these people, um, they're all culpable, and you know, they 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 all went against the allegations against Diddy and said, no, he's a good man. I know him. Brother love. Diddy said through his lawyer, remember this? Enough is enough. For the last couple weeks, I've sat silently watched people assassinate my character and destroy my reputation and legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. <clears throat> he says, I did not do any of these awful things I'm being alleged of. But then a video comes out and proves it. But, but time to... Nah. Diddy isn't going to probably get charged with a thing unless they're coming up with some deep... You know, sometimes they find a way to get rid of you. Remember Bill Cosby? They they wanted him to pay for old crimes, right? So they'll find something to charge you with. And I think that's what... I think Diddy knows his time is up. That he'll do some time. I don't think he's going to do that much time. We'll see him do like a few years, maybe, but maybe nothing. But I'm just saying, if anything, they'll probably find somebody to charge him for a few years and then he'll be back home. But you ain't going to see no more giving Diddy his flowers and all that. It's over. He ruined every like this is who he's been for three decades. And he was very good at keeping it under wraps got to question the whole shine shooting now probably painted shine as the evildoer and said we know that's what happened and you know put it all on shine he went to jail and he came home sick bro sick only reason you see people like jennifer lopez and people around him after that he has so much power it's like eh, might as well appease the devil a little bit before you know and not get like not just totally like ignore him Diddy might be the devil, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. This is George Howe with JT News. Peace.